I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to the Red Gulch Dinosaur Track Site. I'm located in San Diego, California, so let's travel across the American Southwest and head up to where this is located in the state of Wyoming. You can see it here as we zoom in, and that's the track site itself. This is a Bureau of Land Management area, and they built a little walkway out there and some picnic grounds and uh, some uh, shelter. And that's the area right there where you can see the large open stretch of rocks out there. These were discovered in 1997 just by some folks exploring in the area. And to get there, you can use the Red Gulch Alkali National Backcountry uh, Backway. And it's between Shell and Gray Bull in Wyoming. Fairly easy to get there if you're going in dry weather. Now, and in wet weather, this dirt road can get a bit uh, slick, so you have to be careful of that. But uh, this is what it looks like, a little bit of an aerial view here. You can see the little walkway out on the right, and you can't actually walk out in this area unless they change the rules at some point in the future. And there are literally almost a thousand of these uh, markers out here, not markers, but uh, steps that have been come fossilized in the rock. This was an old seabed, or not a seabed, but an area with some water in it. Now the average size are from team, but or six to eight inches. Some of them go that long as two to 17 inches. Like in this section here, there'll be as many as uh, 45 steps. Some of them are just two steps long as you're walking across, or as the dinosaurs were walking across the area. And you can see different colors here for some of the different tracks that seem to be all made by the same dinosaurs that are moving across the area. This gives you an idea how big some of the uh, steps are. Again, they vary six to eight inches on average. And this is the kind of dinosaur that was out there, roughly the size of a man vertically. And this is the kind of land it was in that uh, when the uh, steps were created. Zooming here a little bit, now you can see it may not necessarily be invisible, but now as you get closer, you can see these three toed prints here. And then this is a close up of one of those. Now you look across some of these photos I took. All right, there they are circle them out there. We're going to go to another set out here. This is a longer set of tracks. You can see them going away from you here, heading straight toward the top. And now I'll put little markers in there so you can see where the individuals are at. And when you're standing there, it's much, much easier to see. So it's a long stretch of it here. It goes for uh, you know a couple hundred yards. And you can see different areas. Uh, there are different sections where there are more, a few sections where there's less. And just this is something that was, again, by folks casually just exploring through the area, came across this. 1997, Bureau of Land Management came in. Again, built the little walkway that you see on the left there, so it's easier to uh, see it from a little bit above so you can get a better idea of what's going on out there. And a very, very interesting site. If you ever find yourself in Wyoming, I highly recommend you going out to visit it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.